In this video, I'm going to show you how to duplicate WordPress posts or pages with a single click. As you see, there is a duplicate link here. It's also with the pages and it works also with the custom post types. Now, if you press on the duplicate link, it will clone everything and it will redirect you to the post editing page. As you see, everything is duplicated, even the custom fields I have created here. I'm going to show you two different ways how to accomplish that. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes. Now, a couple of things I need to point out. First, all the snippets I'm going to show you today, take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the blog post that contains all the code. And second one, you can add all those snippets into your child team's functions PHP file, or you can go to the plugins, add new, search for code snippets, this one here, install and activate it. This one allows you to add all the codes to the site and you don't have to worry whether the snippets are active in case you change your themes. So code snippet is a, another option, but there is also a third option and this one is WP Codebox. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin, but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition. For example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories. For example, if I add a snippet, this one works only on accessories, product category pages. Previously, I have made a Toro review video about the WP code box. The link to this video is in the description of this video. One more thing, as I said, it's a premium plugin, but if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. In this video, I'm going to use Code Snippets plugin. So I installed it and activated it. Now I'm going to go to the snippets and add new. Now give the snippet a title, for example, duplicate post and page link and paste this snippet here. Once again, the link to this code snippet is in the video description. Next, select only run in administration area and press on save changes and activate button and boom, it's done. To test it out, let's go to the posts. You'll see there is a duplicate link here. If I click on it, it will duplicate the post with all the content and even the categories are selected. Pay attention though that the duplicated post is not published. By default, it's created as a draft post here working also with the pages as you see and with the custom post types I have created a custom post type called portfolio here it has a bunch of custom fields and if I press on the duplicate link it will copy everything now this was the first option I'm gonna go back to the snippets I'm gonna deactivate this one here this was the worst option, but if you feel uncomfortable messing with the code, then you have also another option that is you can add a plugin here. So go to the plugins, add new and search for Yoast duplicate post. This one here. Install and activate it. For unknown reason, they add this message here. You can close it down here. Also, you can go to the settings, duplicate posts. There is a display, you can activate or deactivate this one here. But under the settings, you can choose what elements you would like to copy, title, date, and so on. If you would like to add the prefix to the post, for example, copy of this or that post, then add the prefix or suffix here. If you would not like to copy some taxonomies, then select those here. Here are some permissions and you can enable the link to the specific post types only. But basically it does the same thing. If you go to the posts, there is a clone button, there is a new draft and rewrite and republish. Basically they all do the same thing. If you open up the post, there is also a duplicate post links up here. So if you feel yourself more comfortable with a plugin method, then you're good to go. But for such a small thing, I prefer the small snippet I showed you before. So this was a quick fix for today. If you're interested in other cool hacks for WordPress, then take a look at this playlist I have here, WordPress Quick Fix. It's a playlist on my channel and currently it contains 25 videos. More to come. There are a bunch of cool snippets here. For example, how to restore classic widgets. 
how to create custom admin menu items, how to fix your site if it's broken, and how to clean WordPress database, and so on. So if you're interested, then take a look at this playlist. Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.